Yo, 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 yo what's up? Back. Welcome back. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome back to the 224 podcast. 224. You already know what the fuck it is, man. You already know what it is. 224 <laughs> shit, man. That, listen, <laughs> we, we, we've been neglecting a certain topic all week. Not because we wanted to, just because, you know, we thought it was some other uh, shit to talk about first. There were um, more things to discuss. But this one is no doubt, uh, no doubt an important thing to talk about. Uh, and we're going to talk about it in two topics. And what we're talking about is uh, the current sitting president, Donald J. Trump. Yep. And uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, his banning mm -hmm. from all social media platforms. Because to be honest with you, in my personal opinion, this one is more important than the next topic we're going to talk about, which yeah. is his impeachment. Yeah. And the reason why I think the social media thing is is more important is because um, that's what made him dangerous. No, that's not that. Well, it, actually, but you, but I'm in, a, in, a no, way, in a way, in a way, yeah, in a way, in a yeah. way it that's actually what made does him make him more dangerous. Yeah, well, actually, banning him makes him more dangerous. Oh, now he's back into yeah. a corner. He's like, a, he's like, no, animal back into a corner. I, I'm gonna explain. Okay, because you're right. Yeah, social media was the thing that uh, was his his vehicle to spew his rhetoric to his base. Yeah. So, if you have been living under a rock, which I'm pretty you sure you haven't, and decide hopefully. to, you know what I mean? Shit, maybe. Maybe. You know what I'm saying? With COVID-19 and everything going on, maybe you decided, fuck it, the best place is under a rock. There's a couple, there's a couple of rocks you know that look I mean? cozy. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> if you just come from under your rock and you decide to go on any social media and you realize, hmm, don't see the president there. Mm -hmm. That's because he has been permanently banned from most, if not all, social media platforms. The big ones, at least. The, the really ones. large ones, yeah. Even some of the small ones, Yeah, too. true, yeah. Who threw him off? Like, so, like, Twitter. Oh, man, it's, it's Facebook. Uh, uh, well, he wanted to ban TikTok in, in the first place, so I think TikTok was like, they were happy to do that one. They were like, oh, give him the kibosh, because he tried to give us the kibosh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're cool with that. So... This is a list of all the platforms. They banned him on Twitch. That has, he don't even play games. That has that has <laughs> that has banned the president. What they what they ain't playing? Twitch <laughs> banned his channel, uh, citing that it was a necessary step to protect its community and prevent Twitch from being used to incite further violence. Shopify. Shopify can't even buy nothing with uh, his image on it. Yeah, Shopify says like, you know, nope. Any deals you know, that had deals they didn't with want to, Trump they clothing or yep. any deals with the Trump Tower, they yep. did. <laughs> Shopify said they didn't want to deal with this shit. They yep. said uh, Shopify does not tolerate act the actions that incite violence. Uh, based on recent events, we have determined that the actions by President Donald J. Trump violate our acceptable use policy, which prohibits promotion or support of organizations platforms or people that threaten our or condone a violence to further a cause. As a result, we have terminated stores affiliated with President Trump per a Shopify spokesperson in an email from Axios. So they said you can't so right now he can't play games or uh create little stores to, uh, or sell uh, merchandise. Or, or yeah, sell he, merchandise. He can't 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 uh, create a store to sell you uh shit from Alibaba. So, that's exactly no, what exactly what the fuck that's is exact. Exactly. Alibaba dot com used to be the spot uh, here, for the it used to be Wish. Here, here, here's some of the hitters. Here's some of the big hitters. Twitter. You already know what the fuck. You need. Yeah, I yes. ain't got to explain why. Thank you. That 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 was his go to. I ain't even got to explain why. And they perma banned him on Twitter. Uh, you know, well they perma banned him. They perma banned him on everything. But uh, Twitter was like the first one. Uh. Or was it Facebook? I can't remember which one was it first. It was either it was either Twitter or Facebook who was first like, nah, fuck that. He gotta get the fuck up out of here. Uh Google, which is we'll we'll get back Essentially the internet. We'll, we'll, which is, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to that. We'll which is, to that which is wild. This is this is a part of the conversation that I wanna have. Yeah. Google um, is so essentially Google half the internet. Has pulled parlor, a social media app, um excuse me, for conservatives and far right extremists. There was there was something like that? It, yeah, it still is. I had fact, no idea. In fact, Parler is suing uh, Apple and uh, and Google because they feel like that's you know 
antitrust, anti-competition. You can't just, you know, do shit like that, according to them. Um, YouTube, so you nigga can't put, can't go and see any YouTube videos, um, because that channel has been, uh, deactivated. Facebook, IG, or Instagram for, for the layman. Snapchat, TikTok, mm. Apple, mm. Discord, mm. fucking Pinterest. They said the nigga can't look for pins. He can't look for recipes. Nope. That he can't look for candle that, making. Nope. He's, it's he over. It's a that dead he can't deal. DIY shit none, none, can't of do that, none of that. Astrology, uh, horoscopes. He can't even know. He, he can't even look up uh, what fashion statements can't do, do even though he only got one. Can't, but can't, can't look up numerology. Can't do none, none of that shit. Can't, none of that. Pinterest is the bomb. Pinterest is low key. The he height. can't do a pin on Halloween costumes anymore. Even though he look like a pumpkin. Yeah, he, well, I'm, just, I'm just saying though, he can't do it. A Amazon AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. Man, he can't even do Amazon. Got Stripe, Octa, as uh, uh, Octa. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I said that shit. You gotta say yeah because it's a t- at it's the end. Octa. It's a uh, Twilio. <laughs> Twilio. And that's it. That's that. Yo. They are banning him from all social media. All of it. The social president is no longer on social media. All of it. I wonder how that's affecting, not just like, I wonder how it's affecting his bottom line. Because like I said, he, you know, his entire, his entire presidency. That's a motherfucking segue. If I've ever hurt one, uh-huh. my nigga Tyson. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's 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 talk about okay financially how this is gonna impact him financially. Yeah, to be honest with you, doesn't. You wanna know why? In my personal opinion, mm-hmm. when he when when he leaves the office or when he gets the boot, <laughs> and he got no fucking choice but to leave. He was already gonna create like. A separate like news channel. Oh, definitely. Like he's gonna have definitely a a a, a, a bright Bart type of thing. You know what I'm saying? An oh, OAN yeah. type of thing. Oh yeah, he's not. He's, he's not gonna, gonna have his own network. I'm, yeah, he's I'm not gonna, gonna do what other presidents do and like write a book and yes. and, mm-hmm. and may do like book tours and some of them even fall into obscurity. You see what I'm saying? But not right. him. No. And and, and think no, about this shit for a Absolutely second. not. Yep. And think about this shit. You got 75 million people who will tune in on a daily basis. That's just going to have a meteoric rise. Yeah. The only problem is now who or what type of journalists are going to want to come to the platform after everything happened. That's the challenge because after, after everything that happened, uh, you know, last Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to want to work for that. Now he might be able to pull some people from Breitbart, Maybe they'll pull some people from OAN because you know people at OAN, they just they can't get enough of the nigga. They yes. they love him so much they would they would smell his farts, and Ugh. and tell him to give him. I mean OAN is Ugh. Fox News with Stockholm syndrome. Yeah, oh God. On, on steroids. Straight Don't forget up. that Fox Straight News up. with Stockholm on steroids. So so it's it, an FSS. So it, it it depends on who he gets, how credible these people are, obviously. If they're following him, not not much, nah, not very credible. Nah, yeah, but doesn't matter as long as they sound intelligent mm-hmm. or 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 can spew the rhetoric properly. So it's seventy five million people well, listen, in this country that's right. who will fucking follow him. That's right. It is what it is. So he so financially, I don't think this is going to be an impact at all. Again, it you did it fucking days. Mm-hmm. Before he was leaving the fucking White House, anyway. I was gonna say that they waited two weeks before you can't the stop inauguration. You can't, fact, as of now, we've got yeah. seven days left of him. And you that's can't it. stop him from having a, a broadcast. No, you know what I mean. Yeah, it can't, you can't. Uh, you can't impede his first amendment. Right. And as long as the FCC approve of his uh, of his of his uh, media group, ain't nothing you can do about that. So Twitter, yeah, and, 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 yeah. and Facebook, all I say, fine, y'all ban them on y'all platforms. But there's other ways. Now he can go to mainstream media. Correct. Yeah. And, 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 he, and he has yo. the connections. He has the money. Yep. He, he can create, you know, TNN, Trump News Network. Yep. You see what I'm saying? Like, it could be, it literally can be, it can happen. So, don't get me wrong, the social media band was effective. But, I mean, 
it was effective for the last two weeks of his presidency, the previous four years, right. and the previous, and then again, like you said, it, it affected his bottom line too. Uh, I was just thinking over here as you were talking, it's not going to hurt his pockets mm -hmm. because most of his businesses are pre-social media businesses. Right. Like where he made his millions and billions were before the social media age. So it's not like it's going to cripple right. him, mm -hmm. you know, for him not being on social media. He, he's, he has shown that he can survive the changing landscape of right. the economy in America. So that's not going to hurt his pockets either. But that's a very interesting point. He might start his own news channel, and now we got to listen to TNN. It's going to be coming all your cable packages. Comcast going to pick it up. Direct TV going to pick it up. It's going to be channel. It's going to be channel KKK. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry to me. It's going to be on channel. It's going to be on channel 666. 666. Yeah, but no, it is what it is, man. So he's not going to lose a lot. Net no. wise, anyway. He's probably losing money now. Yeah, but, but, but in net. Like at the end, yeah. of, at the end of the day, at the end of nah, the he's not gonna no. lose no fucking money. No, it's not. He's not like gonna that. lose. No. In fact, he'll probably get more money this way. Oh, most definitely. He'll he look. Surprisingly, people start GoFundmes for him, and he's already a billionaire. What kind of you know how you know what kind of psychosis you got to be in to want to give your money to a billionaire so you can help him? <laughs> hey boy, hey listen, like George Carlin said, you know what I'm saying. They call it the American dream for a reason because you got to be sweet, sweet to get it. What? You have to be sweet to get it. You got to be. And motherfuckers, it, 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 be, listen. You got to be, and, son. And Trump's not the only politician that is a lying sociopath. You no, know what I'm saying? They all are. Well, I, I would say all of them are lying sociopaths. 95% of them are. I, my number was... One percent higher than yours. I said ninety-six <laughs> percent because I mean because they because they tell people what they want to hear, and yeah. then the second you vote for them and they get in the power, they, they don't listen to the majority of people anymore. That's right. They just don't. They only listen to corporate donors. That's right. And that's right. The elite class people in this country, which elite class people are all millionaires, billionaires. You know what I'm saying? So that's who the fuck. Politicians capitulate, capitulate to. They, say they don't do anything. Money talks for and bullshit. The walks. middle class America. Oh no. Or they don't do anything for. Oh no. Um, I like that picture. Yeah, that's, that's a dope. I, they, they don't do anything for uh, for the lower class Amer Americans in this country. No. They don't do anything for us, man. No, they don't do anything for us. So, Absolutely not. So you you just gotta look at this shit like, um, you know. It's just going to be another news entity that a uh, media source, main, mainstream media source, mm -hmm. that fucking lies to you. That that that's going to spin the actual data, yeah, to fit its audience inside of its bubble. That's right. The same thing CNN does. That's right. The same thing MSNBC does. The same thing Fox News does. The same thing everybody else does. Mainstream. That's right. I, I, just going to is it. That's all he's gonna do, and it's gonna be another one. You know what I'm thinking though? Like, what if, what if he pulls like a, what if because he's an ex president, what if he pulls like a Snowden? What do you mean? Like, what if he just starts releasing sensitive data? Just you know, say, oh, when my time as the president, I tell you what they're doing over there. They're actually doing this, and it's like a real bomb. But then people, because because we hate him so much, like they discredit it. But it's like real information. You know what what it's illegal to uh, um, to give out classified information. So I mean, and, okay, true. I mean, so, and because he's not president anymore, he, he at that point he wouldn't be protected uh, by the by the uh, executive branch, uh, which you know he can't be arrested for shit while he's or he can't be you know what I'm saying. Well, oh, shit. Yeah, well, yeah. So he won't be protected by that anymore. So they'll come get his ass. How, okay, but look, all well, they, they should come they, get. I was gonna say that. You know all what I'm, I'm gonna say is. There has been some fishy shit going on no, in no, his no. entire I'm saying, presidency. Right, I'm saying if, if he <laughs> he can't, I was, that's why that's why Snowden is not here right now mm -hmm. because that shit was probably some classified shit. He was a whistleblower. Mm -hmm. trying to tell the truth, some classified shit, and they was like, "Oh, that's classified information. You can't do that. Bring your ass over here because yeah. we want to. Yeah, we want to kill you." Anyway, so that's the financial part of it. Yeah. So now, let's talk about something more important than the financial uh, aspect of. Trump being banned from all social media. And that is an argument that a lot of people either in the center or on the right have made and that's censorship. Mm. And this one is a, is a big one because 
even though I feel like he should have been shut the fuck up, when you do something like this with censorship, there because that's, that's what they're doing. I mean, let's let's keep let's, let's be honest. The ban is cen- I'm censoring him yeah. so he doesn't spew his yeah, hateful his hate. extremist yeah. rhetoric anymore. But that stretches far right. and wide, though. But now it's yeah, the, the, so, the implications so, of it. So it, it so yes, stretch far and wide. I, we, and we've said it on this podcast and also and on Twitter and everywhere else. He incited a riot. He incited violence. Yeah. That's what I believe. I saw I saw the fucking video. Yeah. I saw the hour long uh the hour long rally he held where he was just rambling and he was inciting shit. We, I saw it. You can't yeah. tell me what I didn't see. Yeah. Or here. Or here. You yeah. know what I mean? But with doing that, with banning him, you are censoring. And the act of censoring, not the reason why you censored that specific person. Because we're not getting into specifics. Because again, specifically, yes, you banned a person that is has not only a giant audience, mm-hmm. but fucking influence and power. You're talking about someone who controls the nuclear codes, who controls our military. That's that right. person that is person. inciting fucking violence. That's right. So I understand why these social media platforms had to ban them. Yeah, well, yeah, some yeah, of them anyway. Yeah, yeah. I have no fucking idea why Pinterest banned Trump. <laughs> what was he going to put up a board Switch. inciting violence? Switch. Switch was on that next level. I don't know. <laughs> Twitch? Why the fuck is Twitch? Twitch? Oh, no, no. Because you can, because you can, uh, can you play him on Fortnite? Like, no, no. I mean, no, 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 it ain't got nothing to do with video games, <laughs> but like our channel on Twitch. Well, we don't play video games. We just talk about shit. Oh, okay, okay, So, you, okay, can, so okay. you can go on. So I, I see why they did it on Twitter. Okay, 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 uh, okay. But like Shopify, what the fuck Shopify? Why? You, is, is it a store they, full of MAGA hats and There was, sports? there was, there was. And Tiki yeah, Torches. Yeah, Tiki Torches. And khakis. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was selling the fucking the Insurrection Starter Kit. That's it. That's, what, <laughs> That's what, what he was selling? That's what it was. So, yep. it, so a lot of them are questionable, but I understand why. You had like you know what I mean IG, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, these plat- YouTube, these platforms where he can like actually spit the rhetoric. Yeah, yeah we get is. it. But at the same time, it it actually literally is it's censorship. censorship. Yeah, they 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 by they, doing that you have him. yeah right by doing that you have engaged in an act of censorship. So, but is it that's necessary a censorship? That, that, listen, is, I'm, but listen, is there such thing as necessary censorship? That's the censorship. point I'm trying to make. There is no such thing as necessary censorship. You know what I'm saying? There is no such thing as necessary censorship. Because you know what? Now, now that you, you say it and you pose it in that way, y'all haven't been censoring the neo Nazis. Y'all haven't been censoring the New Age KKK. Y'all haven't been, and these people literally have like. Uh, but, like, I want this out, this out, this right. out, this out, this out, and I want to kill these people. And y'all haven't censored them for 60, 70 years. But here's the thing, though. And I, and we don't want, at the 224 podcast, we don't want you to. I want to know who the fuck is, are, are the ones who are saying the fuck shit about me, calling me a nigga, saying I should die, mm-hmm. saying my family, my race, my community yeah, shouldn't I know exist how to act anymore. Accordingly. So, I can, so I can point them out mm-hmm. and I can tell my people this is how you act towards that motherfucker. That's right. So I don't want you to censor them. I don't want you to censor the racist. And so that's what that's and that's the point I'm trying to make here is like, do you actually want to censor him? Do you really want to censor him? Because to be straight up with you, I feel like during the Obama years, that's 2009 through 2017. Uh, January 2009 through January 2017, they censored a lot of that type of rhetoric and speech mm-hmm. on a national level. Just yeah, how they talk. I, I remember that Facebook shit was you going on. I was like, "Good lord!" They man. censored that shit. Mm-hmm. In fact, the rise of the cancel the, culture, so, the cancel culture, yeah. and the social justice warriors on Twitter and Facebook and all the other shit. That shit rose in that era. So. What that did at the same time was it was like a it was like a shadow censor where people who had this mindset back then in two thousand eight two thousand nine didn't have a real place to talk because they were afraid 
They didn't want to put that shit out there because maybe their business would get shut down. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to put that shit out there because maybe they'd be looked at differently at work now. They didn't want to put those thoughts and, and, and ideas out there because now, you know what I'm saying, it has some consequences behind it. 2016 come, here come Trump saying everything that they really want to say. Yeah, but can't. But at the time, they feel like they couldn't. Yeah, because they But he out, here, he out here holding his nuts on it. That's right. And, and, and he got elected like to the highest yep. office in the land. Lock, Still. Lock, lock her up. That's it. Build a wall. Grab, and I'm going to make the motherfuckers grab pay for pussy. it. Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> Everything that they want to say but couldn't, mm -hmm. he's saying it now. So they gravitated to that. My hero. You know what I mean? He's and a so, patriot. And, and, so that, and so that's what people were talking about when they was like, he tapped into uh, a part of America that we didn't know. It's like, no. He tapped into a part of America that y'all pushed. Yeah, exactly. That you oppressed. That you yeah, you exactly. that you oppressed. And, that, and, mm -hmm. and that word, because I was going to say, see, that's how we got the synergy, man. Yeah, that's how I, I, I fuck you. with yeah, you. I got you know you. what I'm saying? Uh, oh, I, oh, I follow us. <laughs> <laughs> that's why censorship is wrong. Yep. Because it is a part of oppression. It is a tool mm -hmm. of oppression. Yep. And no as a, how you slice it. And as a nigga, no. when you say oppression, oh, we I kind of break out and, and uh, you know what I'm saying, and, and hide okay. a little yeah. bit. We understand. I, I get chill bumps because we that, understand. that shit, yeah. the oppression leads to, you know, other shit slaving, uh -huh. you know what I mean? Like, just, See what I'm saying? We you got we, we got an extra chromosome, and so it's, it's a, it's, it's like, it's like a fear, it's like a, it's, I'm like triggered. A, it's a defense mechanism. When I hear I'm words so like triggered. slavery and oppression and, I'm triggered. and, and, uh, freeze, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit like that, you know, that's why I, 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 I get, yeah, yeah, I get fucked up. So, um, so yeah, so that, this thing is, listen, it's wild. It, to me. I feel like these platforms, if they're still autonomous and not attached to the government as a public utility, they got the right to do so. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that, it's their platform. They have the right to do whatever the fuck they want to do on their platform. So they can ban whoever the fuck they want to on their platform. Absolutely. It didn't start at Trump. They banned Alex Jones. They banned uh, Louis Farrakhan. They banned a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Y'all banned Farrakhan? They banned Farrakhan. Oh, they did. They did. Let's look at Because he's anti-Semitic. They banned Farrakhan. They banned Alex Jones because wait, he's wait, anti human. Wait, wait. And Alex Jones is a fucking weirdo monster. Listen, the content. Wait, wait, let me ask you a question. I've never, and this, and this is just me. Maybe I need to do some more research, but I've never heard Farrakhan say kill the Jews. I hear him say take back what, take back the Jews control the media and the Jew. And, but this is what, Farrakhan is the first person to say this. You see what I'm saying? And like, okay, so no, he's not, he not the first person to say it. He just he just one of the first motherfuckers with a huge audience to say shit. Listen, now, listen, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and, and say. I've like, never heard him say kill the Jews. I'm not. Though. Listen, uh, no, Farrakhan said some spicy shit. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just saying I've never personally yeah, right. I've never heard him Farrakhan say. That, but I'm like, saying everybody to do Farrakhan some said some spicy shit okay. about the Jewish community. No, okay. Farrakhan said some spicy shit before. Um. But you can't, truth be told, you can't say nothing about the Jews. The Jews had cancel culture before cancel culture was cancel culture. You got too far into the Jewish community, they was like, oh, no, you're dead. Right. And they, they you, you, whatever you had is done. For real, for real. Like, and, it, 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 and, it's be, and it's because of their experience, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. with the Holocaust and shit. So when you see shit, when, when see, the, the issue that uh, you, 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 that you present mm -hmm. when it comes to, Comparing the black experience to the Jewish experience. Oh, I didn't compare it at all. I'm just saying, okay. I'm just saying uh, there's there's similarities. Obviously, they mm -hmm. went through a, 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 an event in their history where they were systematically oppressed and systematically obliterated. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Through torture, slavery, mm -hmm. and uh, annihilation, just because of what they are. That's right. Right? Doesn't yeah. that sound very similar? The Holocaust and American slavery or or the transatlantic slave trade. There you go. American you know, it was, it was, slavery. It wasn't just, was just America. Yeah, American it was in Europe and that, it, slavery. The transatlantic slave trade and mm -hmm. the Holocaust are very, very similar. Striking. More people died in slavery because, uh, the transatlantic slave trade because it's a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. But um, they're very similar events. You know what I'm saying? They're very similar and their goals. That's you right. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, of what they what they were set out to right. accomplish. But um the issue that uh, that is like people bring in the question 
well, why, why the fuck do they, uh, you know what I'm saying, have more power when it, like, when we talk about slavery, they just say fuck us, but they got, you know what I'm saying, you say anything about the Holocaust, you get canceled. It's because the Jewish community positioned themselves to create a coalition that's like, we're not going to tolerate none of that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And systematically, the U.S. government didn't block that. Not only that, the U.S. government helped give them money for reparations of Holocaust. That's right. Of the Holocaust. You know what, what happened in a totally different country. And they didn't have anything Under to do with it. Totally different regime. Right. So anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I mean, we're going to Why, why yeah, the yeah. fuck would you? Yeah, I, I know. Yeah. But why would you pay for something that, you know, you had nothing to do with? So when directly. It, when, it, when, it like, come, when it comes to us, yeah. you know what I'm saying? We didn't create anything like that. No. So they don't give us the same energy that they give the Jewish community, you know what I mean? So I, I know that was a different, that's a different, I just wanted to make sure that was clarified, you know what I mean? They, 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 they put they themselves in, yeah. they don't play that shit. They basically that is what I'm saying. All. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't fuck around when they come to talking like that because to them, when you start speaking like that, it, it gets you, it gets them closer to what happened before. Oh. And they not trying to get back to that point. Gotcha. That's you why got I said, I when I hear shit like, Oppression, slavery. There you go. I'm I started breaking out. Yeah, I'm sorry. When they hear shit like that, oppression, slavery, camps, yeah. Yeah. they they don't get they don't break out of hives. They just no, no we fuck that. Let's let's just do this. Whoever thing. that person is, dead that. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah dead, dead all that. Dead shit. that whole situation. So yeah, that's that's the part of why you get motherfuckers like Farrakhan banned on Facebook, Twitter, mm-hmm. and all other social media platforms because um you can you can disagree with motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I could disagree with a group of people. I could disagree with the Jewish group. You know what I'm saying? Jewish community. But uh, Farrakhan has said some spicy shit. Okay. Farrakhan said some shit that you can take and you'd be like, damn, that's that's exactly what our community, the black community, need to do to uplift ourselves. So he's polarizing. You know okay. what I'm saying? So he's, pol- he's polarizing. He's a polarizing figure. And... Uh, you know, they, they felt like he, he wasn't, he's not supposed to be on social media. My point is, if the Jewish community, and again, this is, this is their, their thinking is, let's squash all that shit now. So there's nothing to build off of. Mm-hmm. Because that's what happened to Hit. That's what happened to Hitler. They didn't build off, of, they, they, they let him build, basically. Yeah, they didn't stop him they from didn't, building. They didn't stop him, stop him. They yeah. let him build, and that's what happened. Yeah. So they're like, fuck that. No, everybody who's, who's talking like that need to stop. And I, I guess that's where Twitter was with Trump. Like, if we let it continue to build. It could get out of control. It was, it's already out of control. Oh, they're throwing the fucking capital. I was going to say, it's all, I was going to say, you're all a little too late. And ladies and gentlemen out there, it's capital building. It's C-A-P-I. T O L, all the motherfuckers who writing T A L mm-hmm. need to go back to school. I'm so sick of this shit. That this can't tell you how many times I saw that misspelled too. I was like, I thought it had an O in. And you, I was like, nah, listen, you bad. ready? Yeah. You put a capital letter when referring to the Capitol building. Mm-hmm. Capital, uh-huh. Capitol, Toll. You get the you see the little, see, the, the little difference and toll. Okay. Okay. You were told that you were tall, but that's what the wrong thing is. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, so please stop doing that shit. I'm so sick of that shit. Anyway, um, so yeah, that that's it's this it's this censorship shit, man. Yeah. It's like that is it's, it's really, again, like I said, at the core it is. You're right. Like you understand why the Jewish people would want a motherfucker like Farrakhan off of the platform. Yeah. You can understand why Twitter would take Trump off the platform after what happened on uh on uh last Wednesday at the Capitol. You can understand why Facebook would take Trump off and all these other platforms would take him off. But again, you are an en- engaging in an act of censorship. Where does it go na- where does it go here from now? Because now what you've told the masses is, you know what I'm saying, if somebody does something that you don't like or you disagree with or you disagree and with and they've got a huge fan base, you'll just snatch them away. And I'm not saying that Trump did something that Twitter didn't like. No, he he might actually be charged. Like what he did is a crime. Like yeah. inciting a riot is a is a fucking crime. It's illegal to do shit like that. So I'm not saying that uh, you know that they're they, they don't have a legitimate reason for doing it. However, 
OJ Simpson has a Twitter account, and that nigga murdered two people. So all I'm saying is, there's a lot of there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people on Twitter. Nah, I get that. There's a lot of people on <laughs> I was Twitter. Gonna, I was going to debate that, but I was like, I get that. There's a lot of people on Twitter get who get the cook, and and they're. Are you talking to your sweet mouth? And, and they're, <laughs> and they're and speaking of sweet and mouth. They commit crimes, or oh, they've committed crimes. Many a crime, and they get to have the platform. Yeah, and I understand why you wouldn't. And again, O.J. Simpson is not as powerful as doesn't have nearly the amount of influence as Donald Trump. I'm not saying that. And we're, again, we're not comparing apples to apples. Mm-hmm. What I'm I'm only speaking on the act that you've engaged in. If you censor him and he's the fucking president who's not uh in the in the realm of of being banned. Who is who won't you ban? Yeah. That's the question that really who's, needs to be who, asked. Who's truly have who truly has the autonomy of free speech now? Right. Who who, 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 who can go on, who can go on your platform and speak freely? You know what I'm saying? If you if Twitter if Facebook, if these other social media platforms truly believe in the First Amendment, mm-hmm. then banning is hypocritical to that. Yeah. If you are, if these corporations, because that's what the fuck they are. If you're saying you come speak are, and are, who are, you are. Are, you know, being corporations at this point, and they're saying, "Listen, exactly, exactly what they we're are. just we're, it, the bottom line is the bottom line, yeah. and that's what we protect the most." Don't fuck. fuck with the money. Then I understand that because you're a corporation. The corporations aren't beholden to the constitution because you're a corporation. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The fucking humans inside of the should be uh, uh, humans in, inside of the corporation. Humans who work to build up the corporation. Uh, are beholden to the constitution yeah, or the constitution or should be is beholden to the word should be. however you want to say it yeah. you know what i'm saying but what what line have you drawn now did you erase the line did you blur the line like where are we now because because again that regardless on what you how you feel what you say about them whatever until january 20th that dude is the president of the United States of America. I do not like that. It was like that. He should have never been president in the first place. True. I didn't vote for him. I didn't vote for Hillary. I, I didn't think either one of those candidates were, uh, were good enough to be president. I, I'm not one of these motherfuckers who vote for lesser two evils. I didn't vote for Biden. I didn't vote for him either. Me either. You know what I'm saying? I hate this lesser of two evils shit that we've been put, that we, that's been put in front of us. We had to choose between to steal something from South Park, a shit sand, a, a, a turd sandwich, and a douchebag. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It is what it is. I'm not gonna fall into that trap. I just, I, I, I my mindset is that of uh, our sweet, uh, uh, dear brother Malcolm, uh, and my mindset is if they don't have a candidate for you to uh, choose that is gonna help your community and help you. Take your ass home. That's right. Straight up. That's how that works for me. Now, I'm not saying I didn't vote in this uh, election. I just chose, uh, I forget her name in the Green Party. I just marked that. I saw them too, and it's like, I'm not doing that. I'd rather just, I vote for everything else, you know what I mean, on on, on, a t- on a ballot, because everything else was some important shit to vote for, especially locally. Yeah, I was going to say, we did. I did a lot of local but voting. I, I will never put my support in the candidates that don't support me and mine. You That's understand right. me? No tangible, so, real tangible change. So, on a personal level, him getting banned on Twitter don't mean shit to me. Nope. I don't give a fuck about him being on Twitter or not. We're just simply talking about what this means now to the masses and what this means now uh, to us as Americans, given that we have specific rights. Because, again, regardless if you don't want him to be or not, regardless, regardless if you don't want, if you don't like him, the, fact the nigga is... is an American citizen. Okay, he was born in New York. Again, thank you, New York, for creating another fucking asshole. <laughs> Shout out, New York. <laughs> so, um, it is what it is, man. And this, it's, it's a, it's a very, it's understandable. Again, when when you put it in the specific context of him, 
it's understandable, but it's also scary as fuck now because now it's it's like Pandora's box. You open the you open the box now. Yeah. So maybe you can't control what comes out of it. That's what I'm saying. No. Nope. And that's where we'll leave yep. that particular uh, subject. That so if y'all if y'all want to if y'all want to you know come at us and ask us questions. Yeah. You know what I mean. Go to Twitter. You know at the two two four podcast. Yeah, by all means, uh, post, what, post what you like. You know what I'm saying. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about. We'll, it. we'll put up a uh, we'll put up a poll mm-hmm. later on the day. Actually, do you think he deserved the ban? Uh, well, not deserve the man because that's a, that's a bad question. Yes, he deserved the ban. Uh, <laughs> yes, he deserved the ban. Yes, he deserved the ban. Yes, he Do you think it's censorship <laughs> or no? Better question. Do you think the because obviously censorship. Do you think the censorship is necessary? Mm. That's the good question to ask. So we'll mm. put that up on Twitter later on the day. Um, y'all, you know, y'all engage with that shit. Hit the poll up. And we'll see the results from there. So, mm-hmm. the next topic, next one, right? Because this lead, this go, this is all, all this shit is, you know, relevant to it's each other. Yeah. So we go from Trump being banned on Twitter because he incited violence at the nation's capital last Wednesday. Yeah. To now, the House of Representatives has passed articles of impeachment for the second time, making Trump the only president in the U.S. history to be impeached twice. So, my question that is... That is an ugly stain on your legacy. He is an ugly stain. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? That is an ugly that stain, That nigga bro. is an ugly stain, man. That's horrible. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's, hor- that's like, that's like, hey, y'all heard about Malcolm? Yeah. yeah. He got fired from McDonald's that's, twice. That's, that's for what? For pissing in the, the, the ice cream machine. <laughs> for real? I thought he did that the first time. Yeah, he did, he did it again. <laughs> That, that nigga's a pisser. <laughs> you be like, what, what the fuck he does? He and pisses I, in the ice cream? Yeah. Is that, that's his thing? And, and that's relevant, too, because yeah. Donald Trump is also a pisser. You believe all the stories about yeah. you know what I mean? That's true. That's true. Go to that nigga like the piss. He like, he like go to the south. There you go. So, okay, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> so, brings up a question, right? Like, mm-hmm. now that he's been impeached, right? Because you say it's an ugly stain on his legacy. Let's keep it a buck. It's an ugly stain on all of us. That Again, that nigga should have never been president in the first goddamn place. To, to, to the point where you have to do it twice. Like, the first swing, you missed. And now you got to come back around. Well, 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 the first time, they impeached him. But he won because the first time they were impeaching him was because of obstruction of justice. Yeah. All of, you know, through, 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 yeah, yeah, all that good stuff. Yeah. But, Right after Robert Mueller's investigation, where he he said they, there's like I don't I, you know maybe you could pursue the obstruction of justice shit, but I you know we don't have enough evidence as the highest to, to office of the highest law enforcement office of the to, land to say that you know he obstructed he justice blatantly. Yeah, when it comes to Russia and him being and, and them helping him uh, by in to get elected by influencing our election. There's like ain't no evidence of that. Mm-hmm. So all the Russia Gate shit that people kept going, and, and even if they still do it, you know what I'm saying? That's just, at this point now it's hyperbole. Yeah, exactly. Because, this point you just because, doing because it. yeah, because you're you a hater. Yeah, you're just doing the most now. Yeah, you're because just, you're just there's no actual evidence to it, and that's you what, know what you have to rely on. You got to rely on actual, if, if, physical, tangible evidence. If you're one of the people who says you need to believe our intelligence apparatus, because there may be some motherfuckers out there say I don't believe shit. But a lot of the people on the left were going in and saying, uh, you know, we can't wait till Robert Mueller's investigation. When Robert Mueller's inve- investigation is over, and he's gonna he gonna bring down the sword of Jesus on Trump, <laughs> and then he came and that did, never and then, happened, and then it was nothing. <laughs> that never ever happened. It was nothing. So anyway, um, but that was the first impeachment. Now the second yes. impeachment is to me now uh-huh. you actually have a case. real as evidence in the case because. We saw him talk yeah. for an hour, inciting violence. Telling them to storm the and Capitol. And then after that, an hour after that, or a couple hours after that, the incited violence happened. That's right. Yeah. So and there's there, there's a clear timeline. There's clear evidence. Mm-mm. It's clear. Those are good patriots, as you know pres- as President Trump. Those are, the, the, those those are, are no very special people, those and, are, and they love them. And no, they love them. Very they special love people. Very special he, people. And he told them to stand by. 
No, that 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 was that was that was on the that was on the I know that was on the break. But he stand down, stand down, stand by, stand by. He he knew this was coming. He saw this down the pipe. That nigga said, "Stand down and stand by, stand by." Wink, 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 wink. We are gonna get him soon. Stand by though. I got y'all. I got y'all. So he um so at this point now we're at impeachment number two. And to me, impeachment number two is a stronger thing. I thought impeachment number one was always uh, shaky. At best. It, it was it's red baiting. Yeah. If you it again, is. the real the 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 real danger that is red is not Russia. It's China. They had a whole fucking spy within our fucking uh, Congress. Uh, not not within the Congress, but with this, within within our political sphere. Yeah. And especially in California. But how, how is how is this motherfucker out here? here? She was involved with a rep and a senator. She was involved with a couple people from a couple states. Oh. Okay. She was fucking one of the dudes from Ohio. Good Lord. That's, I mean, just, just bro, like this. That's, that's sideways. A whole that's sideways fucking spot. Like, so China is the dangerous. real fucking danger. You know what I'm saying? That, again, when Trump says shit like that, he sounds racist because he is. So it, so it doesn't come off properly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you can't, so people don't take that shit seriously. Well, yeah. at least they, one, they don't know how to at least, ingest that. At least the left don't take it seriously anyway. They don't know how to just because it's coming from him mm-hmm. and they think it's racist. They think he's being xenophobic. You know what I'm saying? But the truth of the China, matter is China, uh, they have, bro, they had a whole fucking spy. She was sent to fucking prey on our dumb politicians and they, and they, and to fuck them, to sleep with them. To uh-huh. get in to and not not to be like I'm trying cunt. to get cold so she could blow some shit up. That cunt no. pussy. <laughs> she was she was in there and and after she was fucking, she'd be like, Hey, maybe you should do this. Hey, maybe you should do this. You know, I was it's thinking influence. about this. Mm-hmm. That pillow talk serious. Bro, it, it, for real. Behold the power of the Cause a nigga don't do anything while he uh, don't say. say anything while he getting some pussy. Mm-mm. For real. Nice. So <laughs> For real. Um, so yeah, t- to me, China, in regards to interfering with our elections, interfering with our constitution, interfering with the whole way of life, is a way bigger and more credible threat than Russia at this point in time. Let's just be all the way honest with each other. Yeah, keep it a stat. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be all the way honest with each keep other. It in, keep it in so, stat. And again, that's not uh, xenophobic. That's just fact. That's just a fucking fact. Yeah, you can go, 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 go. I'm not it. saying Russia is not a threat. Russia is obviously a threat. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? But, but I'm China. just saying, are they, uh, are they more of a threat than China right now? All right. Yeah. So, now Trump is being impeached. Jesus. For the second time. For the time. second time. Just yeah, because just, of him inciting. Right. And you know what? Uh, again, just, they, they got a stronger case this time than they did the last yeah, because, time. because right? they have way more evidence. Yeah, because they got five yeah. people there. <laughs> All you need is a video. That nigga, they, like Cat Williams, nigga, they, you know I can see you. Yeah. Nigga, they, you right there. You on TV. You yeah. right there. They screaming, we get the real. We love you, Trump. We love you. I don't kill a nigga for you, Trump. He's like, yeah, hey, that's right. Let's go to, let's go to the Capitol building. I want go. you to march right down the street. And then he's telling them, I'm going to be there with you. So now they feel gassed up. Mm-hmm. Now they feel empowered, empowered yeah, empowered because their the fearless leader yeah. is going to be there. Our president's going to be there, and they're not. They wouldn't dare fire up on the again, president again. This is why celebrity worship, in our opinion, at the Two Two Four Podcast, it's, is it's, one of the worst things, if not the worst thing, our country has ever seen. Because when you when you worship a celebrity, when you have a celebrity in chief mm-hmm. like Donald Trump, he's going to garner more eyes. He's going to garner more attention. Not because he's intelligent, not because he has influence, not because he's the president, but because he's a fucking celebrity. Because he's entertaining. People will follow a celebrity more fervorous, uh, more with more loyalty. That's right. And and That's and right. give them more autonomous more. allegiance. Yeah. For nothing but other than them being themselves. Just for them being, no, not even them being themselves, just for them being the celebrity. Oh, that character. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is it, is it any, is it, is it, is it, is it any coincidence that you see all the celebrities with 50, 60, 70 million followers on Twitter, Instagram, and a politician who actually writes the laws and who, who fucking writes laws into existence, who has the power to control the way you live? Got like seventy thousand followers, eighty thousand. You might get, you might get the 
celebrity, the real celebrity politicians, the AOCs of the world, mm -hmm. the, the squad, the yeah. Nancy Pelosi's who have millions of followers. Because, again, they're no longer politicians. They're celebrities yeah. who have the job of a politician. Yeah. That's it. That's that's all it is. So a lot of this shit is, is because of that celebrity and that worship, that mm -hmm. celebrity worship. So the house of, we, I mean, we, I'm just sprinkling shit in so we can have a full understanding of where the fuck we are in this country and why we why we are here at impeachment number two, number two. for Donald T J Trump. I'm telling you. So they impeached him again, and obviously they impeached him because they they feel like he's a danger. That, oh, which oh for real? at this point it's a little too late. Too late. Now at this point you really can't argue. So again, with the first impeachment, <clears throat> excuse me, and the Russia Gate shit. And the obstruction of justice shit, you know, they didn't have a lot of evidence. It was just, it looks like that. So I'm going to say that mm -hmm. to get them out of here because it's more of a political game. It's political posturing yeah. at, this, at that point. Yeah. At this point, you actually got evidence of him. And if they really wanted to impeach him, I feel like they can. Mm. Because they got video evidence. They got the actual physical evidence of the fucking Capitol building being the fucked mosque, up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And... And people are so stupid, they put all the evidence on social media. Yeah. On their own personal social media. That was the dumbest thing you could ever do. That's like somebody robbing a bank and being like, hey, boys, let me tell y'all something. And you snapping the bands that say Bank of America on the stacks of money that you've yeah. been stolen. So, uh, <laughs> where did I get that money from? Oh, we robbed it. Snap. Bank snap. of America bang. Oh, yeah, how much is this? 30,000? Snap. It's 30, 30, 30, it's 30 bands. Yeah, yeah. Snap. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But, uh, but you know, it, it is... It, it is an interesting situation because the house has come together quickly <clears throat> mm. a week in a week's time. Mm -hmm. Got those articles impeachment up quick. They had them on. Somebody had them on a flash drive. Somebody had them on standby. <laughs> somebody, oh, somebody had <laughs> one in the chamber. They're like, you say, uh, impeachment? <laughs> Who said impeachment? That's it. it, it I got it's right the one politician. That's the impeachment nigga. He's that's, that's impeachment. That's it. That's it. You don't do Who nothing else it? but sit there with a Manila folder full of impeachment papers. That's Who all. this shit? <laughs> okay, to me, it's very funny, mm -hmm. very ironic mm -hmm. that they would have this in these articles of impeachment up so quickly mm. when during a pandemic, the one of the worst pandemics is not the worst pandemic. In the history of our country, no, I take that back. It's the worst pandemic in the history of our country. Mm -hmm. uh, how the House of Representatives can't even fucking get a floor vote? Nope. On Medicare. On Medicare for all. Nope. Not at all. It couldn't even make it to the floor. Somebody didn't even, even, somebody somebody even have floor. the balls to propose it to make it to the floor. Can't even get to the floor. Yeah. But. That impeachment shit, though? Oh, that shit was on standby. They were ready, they ready for eight hours. So. And then ballless. So, I got the, a question. The ballless name. bunny bouncer truck Pence didn't do a thing about uh, proposing it either. I got a question, man. Or name. supporting it. So, Trump, what's today? The 14th? Yeah. Trump got six days left. He actually got five days in a wake up. Correct. That's, that's some army shit. If you, if you understand. Yeah. That's army talk. Uh huh. He got five days in a wake up. You know what I mean? Boy, five like, days in a wake up. <laughs> do you think he the going House out of there. Representatives? Going out of bang, son. The <laughs> House. Do you think the House of Representatives are acting on our best interest, the people's best interest, by introducing and creating articles of impeachment in lieu of bringing a floor, bringing a uh, creating a floor vote? For Medicare for all during a historically terrible pandemic. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. See, this is this type of shit I be on Twitter about. This it's, is why it's, it's kids. Is, in, it's kids in the sandbox. That's exactly what it is. This is, this this is why kids I go in the in. sandbox. This is why I go in on Twitter and Facebook. This is why I be going in and where I be going in because there's, bro. Impeaching him does what? It doesn't scrub him from the history books. Mm -mm. He served four years. Yeah, he did it. Yeah, he did it. There's nothing that you can say to, to that. No, nope. all, all the all the motherfuckers who were, man, Trump ain't shit. He ain't gonna run. He ran. 
And those motherfuckers was like, then after he ran, they was like, man, Trump ain't gonna get no fucking GOP nomination. I know the GOP is fucked up, but they not stupid. And then he got the GOP nomination. Then it was like, bro, he's going against Hillary Clinton. She is, she, she's definitely one of the worst candidates ever. But as far as her record as a politician, she has like 40 years of service in, as a politician. Uh-huh. Donald Trump ain't never served anyone. That's right. You know Ever. what I'm saying? In his whole life. In his whole life. So it's like, of course, he's not going to, she's going to crush him. Then he beat her. And then it's every single step, he's not going to do this. He's not going to do that. He's not going to do this. He's not going to do that. I think the media spun shit like that <clears throat> because they had to give him that comparison, that juxtaposition. Mm-hmm. To make it more profitable, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what the that's what the mainstream media does. They put they put you against each other. Mm-hmm. That's why there's bubbles. That's why there's a left bubble. There's a blue bubble. There's a right bubble. There's a red bubble. They put you against each other, specifically for monetization. Yeah. They do that because it's more profitable, right. Than bringing you together. Because at that point, they actually have to work. They actually have to do some actual fucking journalism. That's right. They actually have to be unbiased and just disseminate the information how it's supposed to be, contextually, mm-hmm. and truthful, correctly. Yep. and correctly. They have to do that for you, and they're not going to because that's not profitable. Mm-mm. It's not profitable to give you the proper information in its proper context. You know what I mean? Because then your critical thinking wheels will start going, and then you'll be like, oh, y'all fucked up too. So Donald Trump is not just... Uh, creation. He, Donald Trump's not smart enough. I give you that. He is not smart enough to do all this shit on his own. The media helped him out too. Mm-hmm. And then when he became president and they didn't have a choice on, yeah. oh, we got to cover this motherfucker. No they covered him. Do, yeah. They covered him the way they covered him, which is on the left, like he's the greatest, like he's the biggest threat in the history of the earth. You know what I'm saying? And on, you know, the right, they covered him like. You know, he's the savior. He's the next coming of Jesus, him and Jesus' homeboys. And Jesus was like, listen, I'm on vacation right now. So instead of me coming down there. I'm going to save you my homie. You go down there and save him. That's it. You know what I'm saying? I I trust you enough to go down there and save everybody. you. You know what I'm saying? Only you can do it. I ain't ready yet, but I think you are. And everybody smoking the bear. Only you can save America. Yeah. Yeah, So (laughs) only you can make America great again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) So it's this, it's this, this. Odd uh, split of America that has everything fucked up like this. However, if it, when they put up those articles of, of impeachment, it's like they got them, mm-hmm. but does it really matter at this point? They just got six days. Yeah, if five, you, wanna, five and a if you really want to catch him, five and a wait until he done, wait until the transfer of power is over, mm-hmm. then charge him in, in a fucking court of law. Maybe you're trying to do both. They be trying to do whatever. That's fine, but you wasting precious man hours mm-hmm. trying to pass articles of impeachment and resources. You can't even get a fucking floor vote on Medicare for all during a pandemic that's taking three hundred and fifty thousand lives, lives in less than a year. Yeah, and that's with all kind of health restrictions. Niggas can't go outside. Yeah. Niggas can't. <clears throat> niggas can't go to work. Niggas can't go to, you know, entertain. You can't go entertain yourself anymore. Can't nope. go to the movies. Can't nope. go to an arcade. Can't people, do none of that shit. Yeah, people haven't punched a clock in ten months. There are people who haven't punched a clock in like, ten come on, like, months. Like, be for real. Like, this is the type of shit that I'd be arguing about. That's like, what are they actually doing? Who do they actually work for? Why are they doing shit? Like, who yeah. gives a fuck? Because with 14 uh, days left, I don't give a shit if yeah. he's in peace or not. Who gives a fuck about it? Well, it's not 14 days anymore. Six well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying well, yeah. Yeah. It, who gives a fuck about impeachment anymore at this point? Who cares? He's gone in five days in a wake up. Six days. It's the 14th, the 20th. Joe Biden will be sworn in as the next, as the 46th president of the United States of America. Who gives a yeah. fuck and about three impeachment three at this point? He's going to forget that he was, Why? Even, he was even sworn in. If y'all want to go after him and make him pay for what he did, wait till he's out of the office. Then you can go after him uh, criminally. You yeah. can go after him through yeah. the court. Yeah, don't and bring like, no civil and, charges and, and on And bring ass. criminal charges, criminal charges him. to him. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, why the fuck are we wasting time on impeachment? The nigga will be gone in six days. I don't even like peaches. 
I like it. I like it. I love peaches. I'm sorry. I love peaches. Fucking Georgia. I love peaches. I fucking love peaches. I love peaches in the fruit sense and in the Georgia sense. The Georgia peaches. You feel me? You feel me? Shout out to Savannah. I love my second home. Shout out to the A2. Bunch of, ooh, don't get me started on the I will not do that. I will not tolerate slander. About Georgia Peaches <laughs> on a two two four podcast. <laughs> All right, I will not tolerate slander about natural peach, the fruit peach. All right, I will not tolerate slander about the, peach cobbler, the peach and all. I will tolerate slander about peach iced tea. That shit is disgusting. Yeah, I never got into that either. I hate peach iced tea. peach flavored soda. I can't get into that either. Now I can't. I can't get into that either. I'm not a do fan. It. I'm not a fan. Can't do it. Not a fan. Won't do it. All right. Anyway, got off a little tangent. I took, mm-hmm. this, this is what we do. We should call it the Two Two Tangent Podcast. <laughs> the Two because we go on tangents all the fucking time. <laughs> anyway, it, it, it's just it's just it's mind boggling to me that the House of Representatives, after all this shit, after all the steam and traction and 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 and, and, and support, mm-hmm. hashtag Force the Vote got you know what I'm saying on social media that. It's not getting any real. It's not getting any real traction. But to impeach a motherfucker who's going to be gone in five days—that's the shit that they're worried about the most. And again, that simply doesn't make sense. It, no, it makes perfect sense. Again, you, you're, it's fresh. People are still outraged be, behind it. It was definitely an event mm-hmm. it, that that never happened. That had never been seen before in right. America. Yeah. And so now it's like you can get the cameras. You can get political points. It's like think about this shit. When crack was going through uh, the inner cities in the early and mid eighties, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. The government didn't do anything, no, to stop this shit coming from Nicaragua and Central America. They didn't stop. They didn't stop any of that shit coming in. They put very few, if any, resources. In fact, there's been information that come out that the Contras, mm. who were supposed to be down there yeah. to train. Uh, the the fighters to the overthrow, fighters overthrow the government, yeah. The Nicaraguan uh, regime that was in there, mm-hmm. they were the ones helping bring the shit over. Yes. So U.S. government officials were bringing in cocaine to America specifically to get to the streets mm-hmm. so that they can turn that shit into crack cocaine or freebase. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And if, and little science lesson. If you don't know what free base actually is and why they call it free base, because cocaine mm-hmm. is it has a as a, a salt molecule, so okay. has a, has a oh. little salt molecule in it. it down for That's us. why you can't smoke cocaine. Oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yes. You can't smoke cocaine. Oh. So what happens is okay. if Talk you put ether Ooh. inside of cocaine, uh-huh. what that ether does is uh-huh. it separates the molecule of salt uh, from the cocaine. Okay, okay. It's now the base mm-hmm. is free. From the salt, hence the term free base. Oh. I'm not saying I, I did it. I'm just saying Bail that's a little, the science, a little science lesson. Real real that's a little science lesson for y'all, God. for the layman out there yeah. who don't know yeah. what the fuck free base is. <laughs> so that nigga is a crack biologist. <laughs> so, did y'all hear him break that down? That nigga so, he has studied. He passed the test. <laughs> that nigga know what salt molecule is removed. Who uh, are you? So, <laughs> so. This nigga Doughboy from Boys and Hood. So, and Ronald Reagan didn't put any government resources in that. No, not at all. He didn't do any of that Absolutely shit. Absolutely not. Why and would from he? from 1983 to about 1986, the cops didn't have anything. They, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. We not doing nothing. Man, we going to let until they dead. In fact, it was, a, it was big scandals in the big cities. New York, Philly, Miami, L.A., <laughs> That's Chicago. Right. That's right. Detroit, where right. the fucking cops were being arrested because they were selling crack themselves. Mm. Because crack was so profitable and, and so prevalent that they they were officials. They were congressmen and women smoking crack at Yeah. Remember, remember what was it, Mary Berry? Mary, Mary Berry <laughs> it was smoking dope. I think he got caught in 91, 92. <laughs> the mayor of the capital <laughs> of our country, the mayor of Washington, D.C., was a dope. crackhead. That's how big crack was. But what happened uh-huh. was there was a, a cop from the NYPD mm-hmm. who was murdered. Murdered. Who was murdered. Murdered. And 
he was murdered because he was, um, I think he was undercover mm-hmm. and he got somebody selling crack and they, and they found out and so they murdered him. Mm-hmm. And, and that's when the fucking war on drugs started. When that cop was murdered, when, when cops found out they could be murdered behind this shit, not, you know, the whole community is fucked up. No. The whole yeah. guy, like, not, not the inner city yeah. fucked up. You got uh, mothers, um, you know what I'm saying? The, because, again, the women are um, the most important piece of our community. They're not the community. They're the, the more, most important piece. If you destroy oh, yeah. the mother, oh, yeah. you destroy our community. You know what I mean? And so you got women out here fucked up. They, they're not taking care of the children. Fucking up our community. They mm-hmm. didn't care about shit like that. No, no, no. When a cop died, though, that's when the war on drugs really started. Then you then so I say all that to say the politicians started getting harder mm-hmm. on, drugs. on drugs itself. They going on camera, you know what I'm saying? Denouncing. Uh, what was cuz name? Uh, Tip something. He was the speaker of the house at the time in like '86, '87. Mm-hmm. It was Tip something. I forget. It, ugly fat white motherfucker looking dude. You know what I'm saying? Just ugly, just bull faced ugly motherfucker. He was the he was the speaker of the house at the time, and he was like, "If it were up to me, I open up Alcatraz, send all these dope dealers there, and throw away the goddamn kid. They'll be there for life." That's what he was. That's what before it wasn't none of that shit. No, but now you got outrage from because mainstream it. America because mm-hmm. a cop got killed. Now it's let's be hard on the shit. Yeah. That's when the war on drugs started. So Reagan got hard on it. That's when the Just Say No campaign came out. Mm-hmm. All that shit was political theater. Because, again, Reagan helped bring this shit in here. His contrast helped bring this shit in here. Yeah. Then the next president, Daddy Bush, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Daddy. Big Bush, you know Daddy. what I'm saying? Daddy he Bush. was the one that came and was like, we're going we, we cracking down. Mm-hmm. And so you start seeing the uh, militarization of the police forces around the country, the police departments. Clinton came in. He got harder than that motherfucker. Exactly. 94 gonna, crime bill comes out. I'm going to do so one now more. It's, so now it's full-fledged war. You know it's what I'm saying? on everything. Now it's a full-fledged war. Except for on that drugs. booty. Except for that booty. I need that booty. And it was always. Right. Come here, girl. All right. all, in fact, uh, remember, remember, that, remember that uh, remember that, uh, that one that one uh, special uh, report from the White House where Daddy Bush was like, you see this here? This is crack cocaine. One of our agents just bought this off the street, da, 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 like in a sting, basically. Yeah. This is crack cocaine. And it was like all political theater to be like, this is how easy it is to get, da, 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 da. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Again, your predecessor helped bring all that shit in here. Yeah. Literally. And so now, it's basically like setting a motherfucker up. It's like, hey, my nigga, here go $20. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about that $20, my nigga. I'm just giving it to you for free. Not realizing that that twenty dollars he stole from another motherfucker. Now he gonna go back and say, "Hey, that nigga got your twenty dollars." Yeah, and it's counterfeit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so now the nigga who's who money not even to catch it. So now the counterfeit yeah. twenty. Maybe you lose that, that nigga, life. That nigga <laughs> coming for you, and you had no idea he was coming for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So that's how this shit is. It's how like set up. It's all this shit is political games because again. They let crack cocaine cook for years. Mm. They didn't give any government resources behind uh, putting sending troops to the uh, the borders to try to stop nope. the flow of cocaine coming into this country. Never, never. They didn't. They they didn't stop the flow of guns going into the inner cities or nothing Absolutely. like that. It was only political. Uh, it only became uh, uh, one of their uh, talking points, one of their points on, of emphasis when something happened to one of their own. Mm-hmm. When a cop died and there was outrage uh, to the politicians from the mainstream, uh, then something uh, was done. to to the to the biggest group of people in this country at the time, you know, white America. Yeah, that's when they started to do something about crack cocaine and the drug epidemic. But they, but because the outrage of it was so strong, yep. they overswung. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. and they put shit in place. That didn't make any sense to this day. You like, well, why wasn't that shit mm-hmm. look up, look in the same? Why wasn't that shit uh, looked at in the same light as the opioid crisis? Instead of looking at these people like criminals, mm-hmm. why don't you look at people who use crack cocaine as addicts, yeah. as people with a with with medical issues, no. with mental health issues, with no. a drug problem? No, no, they're all criminals. They're all criminals. Criminal, all of them. Criminal, criminal, victim, criminal, criminal. Not the victim. So, 
This is what's happening now. Mm -hmm. It's a overswing. Yep. It's an overcorrection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's impeach him again. No. He has six days left. Let him get out of office. And then if you want to charge him criminally with the shit that he incited, then do so. Yeah. Why are you wasting time impeaching him? It doesn't make any sense. Again, the, yeah. it's not like you're going to erase him from the history books because of impeachment. He's the... Re, even if they did erase him, it's going to be 44 Obama, blank, 46 Biden. And people, that are, blank, people, and people are going to ask... Niggas know who the blank is? Who, who's the blank? It's like the blank niggas is know, president. Bro, they're going to turn him into Voldemort. He <laughs> shall not be named. The internet <laughs> is forever. I'm sorry. Everything that's on the internet is forever. Forever. People know he was a... You yeah. cannot erase forever. him from history. If that's the church, if that's, if that's the fucking... The that's goal... That's the goal, though. It can't it be. It can't be. Because can't you be. can't do it. So what's the goal? Just to say you impeached him? Just... Well, Come on, man. Just... Why aren't we spending the next six days uh, uh, bettering the transition, worrying about the next piece of legislation that's going to help the American yeah. people? Yeah. Get some more... Yeah. Write the next... Let's do that. Write the next... Uh, Coronavirus stimulus relief package that has Correct. the two thousand yeah. dollar checks in it. Start right next yeah. to it up. Change, change, change the impeachment dude to the healthcare dude. Yeah. So whenever whatever healthcare hit the floor, he got those papers coming up already. Change the impeachment motherfucker to, yeah, to, to the, uh, the healthcare guy. To the student debt motherfucker. Yeah. Let's hey, get, if we talk about student debt, paperwork is on there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got let's talk. Right, let's right, change the you, impeachment motherfucker to the uh, to the homeless bill motherfucker. Let's get in homelessness. Yeah. Why the fuck are we? Yo, this this is the shit I'm talking about. They spend more time and energy on Trump than they would a Medicare for all bill during the deadliest pandemic this country has ever seen. That's right. It doesn't make any fucking sense. And they are they are willing to cut their nose off and spite their faces. And and that and that and for, and for six days. You know what? I don't need this nose for six days. Let me go ahead and cut this off. You ready for this shit? This is the government I'll that we have. I'll throw one on later. This is the government that we have, and you wonder why Trump has seventy five million Americans who are willing to go to the Capitol and fuck shit up for them. Uh -huh. You wonder why? Yeah, you can see it. Let's keep it all the way up. Let's keep it a buck. The people that vote for Trump are either misinformed or completely devoid of any reality in, a, in, 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 in which they live in. They're completely devoid of the reality. Completely devoid. I understand that. How did they get there? These are the questions that people don't ask. Yeah. They, you just don't say, oh, they got there because Trump. So in 2000, before 2016, they was all cool and copacetic. They were all mm -hmm. functioning citizens of our society. Yeah. They didn't do shit like this. No. Nope. Everybody was straight. It, it was started at Trump. Stop. Don't do that, y'all. Be a little more intellectually honest than that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Use your critical thinking. That's not when it started. Nope. And you know goddamn well that's not when it started. Oh, no. The reason why you don't want to say when it started, because it starts to put a lot of blame on motherfuckers who was in office before him, mm -hmm. one of which you voted back in office to start his run in the next six days. That's why you don't want to say shit. See, at the 224 podcast, we don't just blame the bad truth. truth. We don't just blame the orange man. Set you free. We don't just blame the orange man. It's, we put the oh, blame. There's enough blame to go around. There's enough blame they're, they're spread to go around. Everybody's at fault. Oh, yeah. Left, right, center, up, down, cat, chicken, ducks. Don't matter who the fuck you are. Everybody is the blame. Shit, I'm the blame. Yeah. yeah. I'm the blame. You want to know why? Because I voted for Obama. Twice. I, I didn't vote twice, but I voted for him twice. The first time. It was it well, was one time was, I voted for him, nigga. I was in Iraq when I voted for him. And the was, first time, international voter in this cross country. I voted right for the nigga when I was in a, when I was in a war zone. When I was in a fucking war zone. Um, because I was not gonna sit by as a black man and let the opportunity oh, no, to see a nigga a, in a, office. Not as a black man. Uh, I, yeah. would, I don't give a fuck. We could have been under attack that night. I was going to vote. That was my first time ever voting for the presidency. Uh, I happened to be exactly. Uh, that was my second time. Yeah, I, that was my first time voting the for first the first time, again, because I'm I, I'm a nigga. I thought, okay, niggas got to vote for Democrats. Well, that's what the ladies told me. When I went down there, I was at, when I was 18, it was 2004 election. It was Bush and Kerry, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, bro. I don't know who the fuck to vote for. The old lady was like, well, you black, ain't you? 
And it, it's Georgia, so you know that it's a hilarious. Southern Belle. It's the that old is, Southern that, black lady. That is so well, yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah nigga, nigga ain't you. Yeah, nigga ain't sick. You better like your clock. You better vote for that motherfucker in the blue there. Crack, don't you? You gotta vote for the nigga in that blue there. That's what you vote for. John Kerry the right choice, baby. George Bush don't like her because George Bush is the devil and Jesus don't want you to vote for him, baby. That's what the fuck. That's what I. Listen. And Kanye had said it three years earlier. On, so my, on, on my children. It had to be fact. On my children. George no, he, no, he said it a year after, or two years after, during the uh, event Katrina. Hurricane Katrina. No, yeah. I'm saying, so two years after the 07. No, because no, Katrina was, happened 05. Yeah, and it was, it was I think it was, uh, it was either 05, it was during like one of those, uh, you know, telecom joints. That's what I was saying. Wasn't it 05? Wait, you sure it wasn't 05? It was like 05, 06, right? right yeah. Okay, 05, okay, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So anyway, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm but, um, on that. but yeah, uh, this this lady <laughs> told you, me what you tell you who I had to vote for. What you tell you? She said, you're black, ain't you? I love it. That's exactly. I listen. On my children. On the story of my children. That's how that conversation went. Oh, I wish I'd have met that woman. Me, she's my homeboy, some of my high school friends. Get her a prize. Somebody help that old lady. You know what I'm saying? A bunch of us went down there and we wanted to go vote because we were 18. We okay, this is our first chance to vote in this election. And I voted for Kerry, not knowing any of his policies, not knowing his political background, not, not knowing what the fuck he stood not, for, he like he was a none of that shit. So he could have been a straight up racist, racist, but because that lady told me I was a nigga, I had to vote for the blue person. I had to vote for the Democrat. Because you're a dog. Because I'm a nigga. Because you're spades. So, that's what, so definitely in 2008, I, again, I, I, I got a fucking body arm on. Mm-hmm. I got a motherfucking weapon beside me. With magazines full of ammo. Clipped up. I'm in Iraq. I'm in a fucking war zone. What I do know is that we got two candidates. One is John McCain. Uh, uh, John McCain who was a short, was short white man. Yeah, he's half cyborg. And the way. other one like was a nigga. Was a black dude from, from Chicago. From do you think I wasn't going to vote for him? And it had nothing. The first time I voted for Obama had nothing to do with policy. Had nothing to do with motherfucking politics. Had nothing to do with anything except for the fact that that nigga was a nigga. 2012 come along. I voted for Obama. A few few hundred drone strikes later. Yeah. I voted for Obama because, again, like in 2004, you don't vote the mindset, the disease that we have politically as black people. Is that? Is that you don't vote for red. That's right. You don't vote against party. In, in reference to politics, black people are crips. So we, so we, <laughs> so me one. and my that's wife, a good one. We voted that's a good for one. Obama. But 2014 changed me. 2014 changed me. And you know what event changed me in 2014? Flint, Michigan. When I heard about those stories about those kids who had to wash in water that gave them lead poison to kids who had to drink that shit and died. You know what I'm saying? Kids who drunk that shit for so long that they're now either mentally handicapped or some other shit. Like mm-hmm. I started looking at it like, well, okay, how the fuck, how the fuck is this happening? Then Obama hmm? went to Michigan hmm. and was like, Hey, what's going on Michigan? And he had like a cup of water. That's clearly water from somewhere else. It was not from Flint, Michigan. Clearly, that is not the punch. So it's all political show. He drunk it, and you can hear the gas in the crowd of people. From that point, I said, let me look at what the fuck he did all these years. Because at that point, I was already starting to use critical thinking. Like, you can't believe everything you see on the internet, so I need more information. And when I looked up the fact that 9 out of 10 drone strikes that he, uh, Obama, uh, called upon, uh, nine, nine out of ten people that was killed in the drone strike weren't the targets that we were going after were fucking civilians. When you look at the fact that um, his foreign policy really wasn't that good, was actually shit, that his his White House oversaw Benghazi and oversaw the destabilization of an entire country, Libya, where now Libya has Full on slavery. Yeah. That you like can go can buy, buy a person. For for the low low. You can buy a person in Libya. When I started looking at all that shit, bro, when I started looking at the fact that no one was prosecuted 
forefront Michigan under Obama. Yeah. But now the the senator uh he just got uh Governor put up on Rick, charges. Yeah, yeah. Rick Snyder, yep. He Charles just got put up on charges. Finally. Finally. Yeah. That shit finally. should've happened seven years ago. That shit should've happened ten years ago, fifteen years ago. But when I started looking at shit like that, I, I knew, bro, you gotta look at these politicians with a clear motherfucking mind. That no bias or nothing like that. Just look at what they do. The, should that person be in office to govern for anyone, left or right? No. And that's how I look at this shit. I don't look at it to, I don't give a fuck about it. Again, Trump should have never been president in the first place. Who the fuck, how, why? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying Hillary should have been president either. I'm just saying Trump definitely, definitely should have been, yeah, been president. We fumbled definitely that one. Been we president. fumbled that one. Definitely. We fumbled that one. Um, as a people. That's that's left, right, that's left, right. And I'm not, and, blue, and, and, red, and I'm not saying and I'm not saying yeah. I'm not saying Biden should be president. I don't think he should. No. Because of the shit he did with his homeboy Obama while they were in office those eight years from two thousand and nine to two thousand seventeen. Like that he should not be president. Mm-mm. I agree. But that's what happened. He won the election. So let Trump live out his last days as president in turmoil and in fear of what's going to come afterwards. And I I hope that we pursue something afterwards. Don't waste the time while y'all are doing y'all thing. Y'all supposed to. We pay taxes for y'all. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're our representatives. We are supposed to be represented by you. You are supposed to capitulate to us. I am your constituent. That's right. You constituate. You <laughs> capitulate this? to me. Yeah, constituate. I want mm-hmm. Medicare for all. Absolutely. This this is what I want. I want bigger stimulus checks for our people. Yep. All that bullshit with the economy, blah, blah, blah. fuck all that. Y'all get y'all find ways to give money to these giant tech conglomerates. You're going to find a way to give us some goddamn money. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is what you're supposed to be doing with your time. Not sitting here bullshitting about whether you want to impeach a nigga again. Stop it. It's it's stupid. It's it's pointless. It's it's regressive. Mm -hmm. You're not progressing anything. He's done. It's almost like they're trying to save face for the last four years. Yeah. It's like, bro. If McConnell just said that the Senate won't even reconvene to early start the impeachment trial before Trump leaves office anyway. Yeah, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. And and, and so that's, again, that's a political game too. Yeah. Because once he out, they're going to be like, what's the point? That, there is no point. We already know that. There's I, no point I'm now. Telling you, yeah, I'm telling you, that's exactly why they said we're not going to reconvene the Senate until after the fucking inauguration. So they can come back and be like, well, he out. What's the point of yeah. impeachment? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this now? It's a new, it's new, there's a new What's sheriff the point? in town. Right. Just let him, let him ride off into the sunset so, and we'll catch him in the car. It's, we'll uh, yeah, it's all political games, man. They're wasting time, man. It's like, why the fuck are y'all doing this? Yeah. It, it's just, it just blows my mind that there's more pressing issues at hand. And they keep, again, the reason why he came into existence is partly on y'all. Y'all kept saying he couldn't do it, he couldn't do it, he couldn't do it, and then he did it. And then y'all keep calling him a monster, keep calling him a monster, which he is. But if you, if you, it's like the boogeyman. He's not real. You only, the only reason why the boogeyman has energy is because you fucking give him the energy. Mm-hmm. You, you talk him into existence. That's right. Trump wants attention. Stop fucking giving it to him. Now he's going to go, because you ban him on all social media. He's gonna go create a fucking media platform. I do. promise you that's what he's gonna horrible. do. I <laughs> promise you that's what he's gonna do. All this impeachment shit, everything, he's gonna use that as fuel. Stop giving him fuel. The impeachment shit is an act of futility. If you wanna get him, wait until he's out of office and then get and then bring criminal charges against him. This impeachment shit doesn't mean anything. You're wasting time. Give me my Medicare for all, motherfucker. That's right. That's why they should have held their vote for Nancy Pelosi. But you know what? That's another topic. Another topic. You got anything left to say about this shit? Uh, I I really don't, man. I re- I think uh, as our lawmakers, we need to. They need to direct their energy into making the transition better, making Biden's first 100 days actually uh, uh, beneficial for the American people. Uh, changing some real shit, man. Getting us some real. 
relief when it comes to the coronavirus. Changing some shit for the better. Spend your time wisely instead of just bickering. Like I said, it's kids in a fucking sandbox. You know what I'm saying? Is they, ah, oh, you're on my sand. No, you're on my sand. It's all fucking sand. Spend time scooping sand in the better buckets. Please. That's all I got to say about that. I can hear you snowing on the mic. You sleep again because he's talking that American Dream shit again. No, I'm not. <laughs> Nigga, whatever. Whatever. Because that's not going to fucking happen. It's you and not. I both know it. Yeah, but, but, you but, 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 but you know what? Like I said, that, that's what they need to do. Do what you're Fuck, 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 fuck Trump. Let him get out. He's he's on his way out anyway. Just let it happen, guys. Uh, you know, just let it happen. Let that shit be done. Uh, work for the people. Continue. Start to do some work for the people. Let's continue because y'all ain't been doing shit. Start <laughs> doing work for the people. For everybody that you have disenfranchised, everybody that you have not listened to, start listening to your constituents, man. Like I said, start constituating for us, goddammit. Yeah, get y'all shit together, man. Um, I don't think y'all will. I'm very pessimistic when it comes to politicians on both sides. That's uh, the House, the Senate, you know what I'm saying? Democrat, Republican. I don't give a fuck who it is. Independent. I'm very, very pessimistic. I'm, I'm a, I'm a cynical motherfucker when it comes to them now because I used to be that nigga who was the blind motherfucker who just voted Democrat because I'm a nigga. You know what I'm saying? But I don't do shit like that no more. I actually use my brain now and, uh, I have no faith in this. I think our, I think our government is a failed state. Mm. I'm just going to be straight up with you. I think they're a failed state because there's so much money involved. Uh, again, politicians aren't politicians anymore. Specifically, that's their job. They're now celebrities now. They can go on Twitter and and, uh, and do a and do a live and get like a hundred thousand people. That's when you get that type of influence. You know what I'm saying? You in this country anyway, you become a celebrity, uh, regardless if you want to or not. And most of these motherfuckers want to. So. I, I just don't have any faith, man. I, I really don't. Because um, that's a part of the reason why we got Trump in the first place, to be straight up with you. So, um, so yeah, uh, we're going to leave it at that. Um, that's the end of the day show. I know uh-huh. that shit ended sour as fuck, but hey. fuck it. That's what, we, it's sour, nigga. It's 2020 was a sour ass year, and 2021 looking just as sour, if not any more sour. That's right. Because, again, for a, 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 another day, we are coronavirus deaths are over four thousand. Um, we got impeachment shit for a president who's gonna be gone in five days. They are racking The president shit up. is inciting violence. Now he's saying, "Hey, y'all, just chill the fuck out." Even though he know he want to incite some more shit, they banning motherfuckers. The censorship all over. This place is a fucking. This is a powder keg, bro. So I'm sorry if the show ended on some fucking sour shit. Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-
Man, fuck with us, man. We love y'all. We love you guys. Listen, again. keep yeah. thinking. Hell oh, yeah. Shit ain't illegal yet. Not yet. Probably, they probably got a dude who got a bill. Are you, are you, want, the, you want the not think bill no more? You want that shit? <laughs> you, want you got the impeach bill from the media. You want the non thinkers? I got, I got the non think bill right here. Okay. They got that bill ready. I'm telling you. Yeah, you got. Keep like, thinking. Where did you this shit ain't illegal yet, y'all. We love y'all. We'll see y'all motherfuckers tomorrow. See you guys later. Enjoy y'all day. Peace.